All right, here are the ingredients for our cipino with linguine. We have olive oil, we have carrot, and celery, and also we have white onion. We have some basil and parsley, um, salt and pepper. We also have crushed tomatoes. We have one bay leaf there, salt, Italian seasoning, garlic cloves, sugar. Also we have some baby clams and some chicken broth. We have some butter, we have some white wine, crushed peppers, and some linguine pasta. And this is our cipino with linguine. And there's mojo. You can smell it already, huh, mojo? Not ready yet, baby. It will be soon. Here you go. We still have to cook all this stuff up. Pino. Boom. Oh, you know what? We didn't include the Costco seafood in the intro, did you? No, I did not. <laughs> Grab that. <laughs> I brought that. The most important ingredient is the seafood. Right? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay. Kino this ne Costco de. We got this from Costco yesterday. Yeah, it's a yep. medley of uh, different uh, seafoods. So this is the main ingredient for today yes. that you forgot. That's what you introduced have. everything else besides mm. this. Yep. Oh wow. Well, there so you go. We we'll use this one at the Costco. Um, it's 2.36 pounds of seafood. It has mussel, shrimp, um, squid, squid, and a baby scallop. Baby scallops. Ah, no, today we have a from to see the food. So we had a request for the food. Ah, the Alright guys, so we're gonna get started here and what I do is um, heat it up uh, four tablespoons of olive oil over medium high heat and now we're gonna go ahead and add some onions. This is two thirds cup of chopped onions. We'll just add this here. Alright. Ooh, very sizzling. And also we're gonna add half a cup of chopped celery. Okay. And next we have a half a cup of chopped um, carrots. And add in here. Alright, and stir that up here. And we're gonna saute this for about five minutes. Let it get uh, kind of reddish down. Okay. All right. It's been about four or five minutes here, and we are getting that uh, the caramelized onions and softened up the celery and carrots. Now we're gonna go ahead and add three cloves of minced garlic. And we'll try to stir it up and mix it in here a little bit. Get the flavor of the garlic to infuse with the olive oil. I'll spread out the flavor of the garlic all over. And also in the meantime here, we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna do some cracked pepper here. So you can still add a little bit, about a teaspoon or less cracked pepper here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna do about half a teaspoon, just a couple shakes of salt here as well. That helps with the flavoring. <laughs> all right, so then here we go now. After about a minute here, we're gonna go ahead and add a cup of white wine, okay? And this white wine is basically gonna cool the pan off. And what we need to do is uh, we need to bring the heat up just a little bit, and we need to bring this to a boil, okay? So bring it up to about medium high heat, um, and bring this up to a boil. And like before, uh, in previous recipes, we want to go ahead and um, have this uh, white wine kind of reduce a little bit. So it gets a little bit thicker and more flavorful. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil. Boil this for about three, four minutes, and then we'll come back. Okay. So as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and boil this down a little bit, and then reduce out the wine. It's been about three or four minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thickened up. All right. a lot. Yeah, thickened up. See. All right. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and add our crushed tomatoes. So we have crushed tomatoes here. We have two 15 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes. Okay? I'm going to add that to the pot. Okay, so that's about 30 ounces right there. Alright. And kind of stir that in a little bit here. Okay. And from the clams, the can of clams, baby clams we had, we got three quarters of a cup. This is three quarters cup of clam juice. Yep. Okay? So just go ahead and add that in there slowly. Then we also have two cups of chicken broth. Okay, add that in there as well. And we'll gradually stir this, slowly, slowly stir this up. And we'll gradually stir this up here. Then we have two teaspoons of sugar. Okay, toss that in there. We'll have one teaspoon of salt. Okay. We have one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Toss that in there. Also, I'm going to put in one pinch of crushed pepper, yep. okay? Just to add a little bit of heat to it. Just one, one pinch, be good. Add one bay leaf, mm -hmm. okay? I'm going to go ahead and stir this in here. Stir it all up. Okay, so this is, has come up to a nice little roll and boil. Mm -hmm. Okay, look how red and deep that looks. Yep. Okay, we're going to cover it up. We're going to cover it up. And then we're going to re reduce the heat down to like a medium low or low. Yep. Okay. Let it simmer. Uh, 25 minutes. Okay. 25 minutes. In the meantime, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and prep the linguine pasta and get that ready to go as well. And then I'll come back and uh, add the seafood. Okay. So here we are. We're done here. It's, uh, mm -hmm. Still simmering here. Temperature down to a low here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add three tablespoons of butter. Okay. Butter. Butter. And this. Um, this is gonna make the uh, the sauce a little bit more creamier. And butter's always good with seafood, right? <laughs> butter is good with anything. Chipino, it's, it's more of like a soup. At the same time, for this recipe here, we're adding it to a little bit more thicker and creamier for pasta. So it's almost like a pasta sauce. Yeah, right? pasta is an uh, option. Yeah, it's optional. Yep. A lot of people eat this as a soup. Also, a lot of people, um, when they make chipino, they use more like the um, clams and mussels that are mm -hmm. whole, and they'll, they'll make those fresh. Right. The one medley we have here, we have mussels that have already been opened and they're already cooked, partially cooked already. So all we're doing is basically heating that up. Right. And then the shrimp and the baby scallops and, and the squid are, are still raw. So what we're going to do is we'll cook it in there just really briefly. Only five minutes to be done. So it's quick cook. Yeah. If, you, if you're going to use fresh seafood like fish, right. um, it takes a little bit longer than that. But the one we bought at the Costco yesterday, these um, mussels are cooked already. So it's going to be pretty quick. Yeah. We're gonna gradually add the seafood here. Like I said, the mussels are already open. Okay. Yeah, mussels are pretty cooked. Yep, pretty cooked up. Mussels already. Right. Like I said before, this is gonna cook up pretty fast here. And then we have the baby clams um, from the can. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add that in here as well. The clam flavor is really good for the chipino. Yep. Okay. And then we'll kind of mix that in there as well. All right. We have one tablespoon of chopped up basil, okay? And we have two tablespoons of chopped up uh, Italian parsley, yep. okay? All right, and once we've got the greens. Yep. Stir that up. Looks good. All right. As you can see the shrimp is already cooking up. That's how fast the air can cook stuff here. Okay, cover it up. Five minutes, we're right back. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and we're gonna put some Texas toast into our toaster and have that so we can have dip it in the sauce as well. Okay. 今日はですね、このエチビのテキサストーストガリックトーストを買ってきました。で、テキサストーストっていうのはこのこの今回これはフレンチブレッドなんですけど、厚切りのトーストのことをアメリカではテキサストーストって言うんですよ。食パンの形
squid that cooked up as well. All right, because you don't need to add too much heat when it cooks up this other stuff. Okay, and to finish it off here, we're just going to add a little bit more cracked pepper, add a little bit more seasoning to it. Okay. Add some cracked pepper to it. And we'll add a, some more, a little bit more salt. I'm thinking probably about another teaspoon of salt here. All right, and we'll stir this all up. And then we'll go ahead and dish it up and get ready for you to see. There you go. <laughs> Chapino with linguine? Yep. It's a seafood, uh, seafood and then also an Italian dish. So you get a little bit of both. So whoever requested seafood, here you go. And whoever asked for Italian, here you go. <laughs> if you didn't ask for Italian yet, here you go. Okay. <laughs> Should we try? We should try. And also, a um, couple people asked the dish without cheese, so. This does not have cheese. Yep, so this is it. This is kind of a really kind of a refreshing um, seafood kind of dish, so. If you like seafood, this is really good. At the same time, it's very light flavor. You like your mm -hmm. Here we go. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm, mm. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Ooh, that's good. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Like I said, mm. it's a, just a, just the right amount of flavor, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not like a real, not a creamy pasta. Sure. It's more of a light pasta. I like that. Not like that more. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. This Costco seafood worked out really well. Perfectly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. one more important thing to do, you take the garlic bread here and you dip it in the juice. Dunk it in the and sauce. Dunk it in the sauce, right? Now you have that seafood. Also, a nice um, rustic bread works good. Mm -hmm. I like you know more of a, like a whole wheat or one of those big loaf bread, Italian breads. Works really good. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm, very good. Yeah. Okay, so today we introduced our um, chopino with linguine. Mm -hmm. um, chopino can be just a soup dish, but because I like noodle, I always put a noodle in, but you can eat it as a soup, seafood soup yeah. as well. And this yep. makes it a more heartier meal too with the pasta, so yep. you can feed your family and your friends and, and have a good meal. Alrighty, this is it for today. Yeah, we hope you liked the video and uh, you know, give us a thumbs up if you did. Also, uh, be sure to follow us and subscribe below, and then we can see our future videos. Yep. Alrighty. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.